Good day. Today I'm going to attempt to take the Microsoft Azure um, LinkedIn self-assessment test. So I first go to my profile, okay, scroll down till I can find um, take skills quiz. Yeah, there's two retakes that I've got to do. Um, it says I can only take HTML after the 5th of the 7th but I can take um, Azure now so I'm gonna go and do Azure it says here Microsoft Azure assessment Azure data platform container solutions DevOps and Azure identity and access modern application 203k people took this 15 multiple choice questions one and a half minutes per question score in the top 30 to earn a badge Okay, so I'm going to click on start, and here it is. Your web app is hosted on Azure VMs, generates a large number of random non-sequential writes, which storage type should you select for your application. Table storage, page blob, block blob, or queue storage. Okay, I'm going to go with page blob. All right. You need to migrate the backlog of a development project for a newly acquired subsidiary. The development team currently uses a Kanban board to track stories, tasks and bugs. Which process framework should you select in Azure board? Agile, Basic, Waterfall, CMMI. I'm going to go with Agile. You have a set of SQL databases used with various PAAS applications with predictable usage patterns. You are planning to move these databases to Azure SQL and need to choose the right deployment option. Your priorities are minimizing cost and having the ability to assign CPU and storage resources to individual databases. Which option should you choose? SQL Managed Instance Azure SQL Elastic Pool, SQL on Azure VMs, Azure SQL Database. I'm going to go with Azure SQL Elastic Pool. Your microservices application includes a logging component that performs a large number of sequential writes. Which type of Azure storage should you use? Table storage, blob, block, blob, append blob, or page blob. I'm going to go with um, table, table, table storage. I'm going to go with table storage for this one. Which messaging service enables an event-driven programming model? Event Hub. Event Grub, Notification Hub, Services Bus. I'm going with Event Grid. Your company hosts a web application that uses Azure SQL Database to store data. You need to implement measures that allow only members of the manager's group to see sensitive information. Which two actions should you perform? Implement dynamic data masking and include the manager's group. Implement transparent data encryption and include the manager's group. Implement dynamic data masking and exclude the manager's group. Implement transparent data encryption and exclude the manager's group. Implement dynamic data masking and exclude the manager's group. Which access protocol does Azure files not support? REST API, HTTPS, Server Message Block, SMB, Network File System, NFS. HTTPS. 
You are selecting Azure Technologies for a new app that will process print jobs in a facility with thousands of printers. A pool of worker processors will send jobs to printer and report results when jobs are completed. Requirements for the solution are Worker processors will retrieve and process messages as capacity permits. If a worker process or printer fails, a worker process should be able to retrieve message and resume processing. And the solution should maintain a central server-side log of messages processed. Which solution should you choose? Event Grid, Service Bus, Event Hub, Q Storage. I'm going to go with Q Storage. The Kinetico Inventory app uses an Azure SQL database instance to store application and store inventory data. Store employees report occasional periods where queries in the web interface never return data. You suspect a database issue and need to identify the performance issue as soon as possible. The Resource Health dashboard reports no health related issues found. What should you do? Configure App Insights to alert admins when web interface experiences latency. Enable Intelligent Insights. Run the troubleshooting wizard under Resource and Solve Problems. Configure an alert rule to email DBAs when DTU usage hits 100%. I'm going to go with Run Troubleshooting Wizards under Resource and Solve Problems. Your organization delivers a number of RESTful web services to customers around the world. You need to deploy a cloud infrastructure to deliver these services to paying customers. Requirements include authentication, request throttling, and routing of requests to the closest service endpoint. Which solution should you choose? Traffic Manager, API Management, Front Door, or Application Gateway? I'm going with Application Gateway. You have created an Azure CLR script for a release pipeline in Azure DevOps. You need to reference the working directory for the running job. Which variable should you reference? Agent.home directory, agent.work folder, agent.build directory, agent.tools directory. Agent Work Folder. You need to provision a port mapping on the underlying node that allows the application to be accessed directly with the IP address and port on the cluster node. Which service type should you provision? Cluster IP, node port, external name, or load balancer? Node port. You need to configure you need to configure user access to Azure DevOps agent pools to meet the following requirements. Use an agent pool when authoring build or release pipelines for the project. View the agent pool and agents of the organization and use the principle of least privilege. Which role memberships are required for the Azure DevOps organization and the project? Organization reader Project Administrator, Organization Administrator, Project Service Account, Organization Service Account, Project Reader, Organization Reader, Project Service Account. Organization Reader, Project Service Account. Next. You are writing an app for a sales team. You need to implement security in SQL Server to ensure that sales representatives see customer financial information only for customers whom they manage. Your app must make this transparent to the user. Which SQL data security option should you choose? Dynamic data masking, always encrypted, row level security, transparent data encryption. Dynamic data masking. What is the difference between a user-assigned managed identity and a system-assigned managed identity? 
The life cycle of the system managed identity is managed separately from the resource. With a user assigned managed identity, Azure manages the password for you. With a system assigned managed identity, <coughs> Azure manages the password for you. The life cycle of the user managed identity is managed separately from the resource. The life cycle of a user managed identity is managed separately from the resource. Let's go and see how did we do. Great work! You earned a badge. You're in the top 15 of 203k people who took this. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.